breaking three more key Vegas witnesses just found and it's bad, all with one shocking thing in common. It's been less than 24 hours since it was revealed that an outspoken key witness in the Las Vegas massacre was found dead under exceptionally mysterious conditions. Now, we're learning that she wasn't alone. There are two more people who hold the keys to crucial details in the ongoing saga over Stephen Paddock, his motive, and if he had help. However, their sudden, unfortunate demise isn't all these four have in common. A 28-year-old mom, Kimberly Suckomel, made it out of the shooting alive and uninjured, only to die a week later in her sleep sometime between the hours of 4.30 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. She was found dead in her bed by her grandmother, who arrived to care for Suckomel's child at 8.30 a.m., after the mother's husband had left for work four hours earlier. Although generally healthy and in good condition when she went to bed that evening, it was later reported that her untimely death was caused on by perhaps a seizure or maybe a brain aneurysm brought on by the stress of what happened in Vegas. Her passing was only days after a public post she made on social media which insisted that there was a lot that was being hidden in this investigation. Her factual account from the scene included a lot of details that from what she witnessed, including there being more than one shooter, that authorities have consistently discredited. People questioning her death were immediately criticized by mainstream media and even the Las Vegas Sheriff's Department who all insist that there's no conspiracy in this investigation. Apparently, it doesn't nor shouldn't seem strange to anyone else that this young woman just died suddenly after exposing what she saw. That post has since been removed and Sucka Mel's account set to private. Her witness account isn't all that's being met with unfortunate demise. Two other people who happen to be privy to important information are suddenly missing and silent. One, Jesus Campos, was scheduled to explain what he knows in several public news interviews. Unfortunately, he was silenced seconds before that could happen. Now we know why. The Gateway Pundit reports. On Thursday night investigative journalist Laura Loomer paid a second home visit to Jesus Campos's home in Las Vegas. The family of Jesus Campos is under a gag order. Why? This is a security guard who was reportedly shot by a madman. Why would his family be silenced? This entire investigation is a complete mystery. Investigative journalist Mike Tokes visited the Campos home on Thursday night. He confirmed the family is under a gag order. On Saturday, a representative for Campos revealed the hotel security guard checked into a clinic moments before he was set to speak to the media about the Las Vegas massacre. Now, the Daily Mail has added to this mysterious disappearance of Campos and now we're learning that he also has a very specific thing in common with the third key witness, Chad Nishimura, who worked as a valet for the Mandalay Bay and parked Paddock's car. Daily Mail UK reports. The security guard is yet to be interviewed since he was shot by Stephen Paddock on October 1st on the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Hotel. On Thursday, Campos was due to appear at a press conference after being given an award for his bravery but he disappeared. His union representative revealed on Saturday that Campos was taken to a clinic shortly afterward but he did not know which. Right now I'm just concerned where my member is, and what his condition is. It's highly unusual. I'm hoping everything is okay with him and I'm sure MGM or the union will let media know when we hear something. David Hickey is the president of the Security, Police, and Fire Professionals of America, told Fox 5 Vegas. There's also a major problem in Nishimura's seeming disappearance. The valet guy who handled the killer's bags and drove in his car to park it hasn't been heard or seen since a single statement made to Kent 4. That statement was deleted from the site but has now reappeared and it's unknown if it's been altered at all. The original cited reason for the delete from the site was out of respect to a request for privacy by Mr. Nishimura, who must have changed his minutes since, considering his alleged statements are now on the site. Here's what he had to say, according to Kit 4. Just in shock, really. It's scary to know that I was close to someone who was that dangerous. I would have never thought. He seemed like a normal guy. When he came in, nothing too weird about him. He didn't have any crazy bags with him that I can remember. We are a convention hotel so we have a bunch of people who have boxes and multiple carts worth of stuff. There's nothing weird that I can remember.
Nishimura said. All three of these people, one who is mysteriously dead, the other disappeared and is now under a gag order, and the third is also not speaking to reporters about specifics, all have in common that they know something that they are being prevented from saying. If investigators want to stop what they say are conspiracies then they need to start talking about what actually happened, revealing what they know, and answering questions. All Americans are getting is excuses and accusations about jumping to conclusions. conclusions.